Hi everybody, welcome to Live with Chaudhry here at Farmalab Congress at Nus Dusseldorf. It's the afternoon of day one and I'm delighted to be joined by Chris Wells from Biomerio who is going to actually talk me through the new 3P Enterprise. But as well as that, give me a quick overview of what else Biomerio is showcasing this week at Farmalab Congress. So Chris, first of all, it's lovely to meet you. How are you? I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. Well, it's lovely to see you and lovely to meet you. As I said, we're into the afternoon of day one. Mm -hmm. How has the morning gone? Been very, very busy. Lots of interest. Uh, so yeah, lots of people. Fantastic, actually, to be face to face once again. It's Brilliant. been a, a few years of not having these meetings. So lovely to see everybody back together. Fantastic. Now, for people who are not familiar with Biomeria, I know most people will be in this space, but for people who are not, can you just give me a very top line, uh, top line overview of the company? Sure. The very, very simple overview of Biomeria is that we are an in vitro diagnostic company. So we manufacture and we pioneer diagnostics for two key areas uh, in, in the world. One is for clinical uh, diagnosis, so diagnosing disease. And on the other side of, our, uh, of the coin is working in industry with both food and pharmaceutical customers. And here, we're here at PharmaLab because it's the pharmaceutical world that we're talking to here today. Now, brilliant. Now, I know you're going to focus more on the 3P Enterprise today, but you have got some other products here on the booth. So mm -hmm. what else have you, are you showcasing this week? So this week at PharmaLab, we've got a, a limited range of the Biomera product portfolio here. So we've just got three key products. Uh, over on, on this side, on, the, on our right-hand side, uh, is the RFC, recombinant factor C, uh, test method for endotoxin testing. Yep. So no need to use crabs at all. This is all, all recombinant factor C over on this side. So beautifully sustainable. And over here uh, on the uh, left-hand side, uh, you see the Biofire mycoplasma uh, assay. And this is able to give uh, results for mycoplasma in less than an hour. It's unbelievable. And you don't even need a molecular lab. That is all that you need to run the system. And actually, there is a more detailed uh, video of that from the show uh, on LinkedIn as well, viewers. And I'll put the link to that uh, above this video. So... Chris, I say you are already focusing more on the 3P Enterprise this week. Indeed. So, talk which me you can it. see here. So, what you see there, the instrument is the 3P Station. Uh, the 3P Station is part of a bigger group of products, and together they make up 3P Enterprise. Right. So, the three key elements of 3P Enterprise are firstly are the Petri plates. We'll have a look at those in just one second. Uh, you then also have uh, the software that links everything together. So, that's called 3P Connect Software. Uh, wonderful piece of software that can be used to run your environmental monitoring program and to track plates when you're doing the sampling in production and then track them all the way back through to the instrument. Alternatively, if you already have an EM module, you can use that and then we can get that to talk with 3P Connect. Basically, it's the, the magic that makes the, the communication happen between the plates uh, and the instrument. And so the third part and the final part is the 3P station, and that's what takes the Petri plates. It incubates them, it reads them, it takes images every hour, and it gives you a real-time count of the number of bugs that are growing on a plate. Yeah, and I understand... Um this week is actually the European launch, is that correct? Yep, that's right. This is it, this is it being launched. We had a great event last night where we launched uh, the product to, uh, a, I think we had about 50 people in the room last night. So the delegates that are here, a lot of them came last night uh, and now we're showing it to the entire conference today. Brilliant. So let's see it in a bit more detail if that's possible. I can show you it in detail, but it doesn't take very long. So you really need to focus on what <laughs> I'm going to show you next. Fantastic. And really, if you can imagine that a plate has been uh, used in environmental monitoring in production, is coming to the lab or it's coming to wherever the instrument is ready to be incubated. Um, an example of a Petri plate here. On the side of it there, you'll see uh, a barcode label. That barcode yeah. is a GS1 compliant uh, barcode. Yeah. And that is what is driving uh, the, the whole solution. The bar that barcode is the brains behind the sample right. that we're processing. So to run this uh, plate on the instrument, very simply, all we do is firstly open the door. And on the inside there, you see two stacks straight away, each of them with uh, 30 positions in to load plates onto. Yeah. All I'm going to do now to load a plate in, let's pick it up, agar down, uh, lid uppermost, yep. and just put it onto one of those petals there. Just pop it in, and yep. that is all that one needs to do. If you have contact plates, they are also uh, usable. They sit on a little uh, holder there, uh, and then that holder goes into the uh, into the instrument as well. And once again, they've got the GS1 barcode label on the side. One question uh, I was going to ask you is, as you said, you can see that there are two rows of 30 there. Mm -hmm. What's the maximum number of plates can it take? In, in this one instrument, it will take 300 at a time. Uh, so it, by pressing these two buttons down here, the carousel will rotate around and you're presented with the next uh, stack of sets of two, uh, two columns, each taking 30 plates. And one further question related to that is that 
does it can it read all of the plates at once or how does that work in terms of if you've got a number of plates in there at the same time so that will take 300 to, just to go back a little bit into it's a brilliant question and i'm going to answer it in a, in a little moment once you start the incubation which yep. is now done like that incubation is now started right so the first thing the instrument will do there's an arm inside that will come down little calipers will pick the plate up read that barcode label on the side of the plate to work out what that plate is and what to do with it yep. uh, and then over on the other side of the instrument so this bit you wouldn't normally do but uh, just to show you what's inside yep. uh, on this side of the instrument is where the camera sits so the plates will come down and be placed here right. uh, by the uh, by the, the gripper on the arm and then this unit up here is the camera so right. there will be two okay. images taken of the plate with top light and back light right. that's done every hour and we can read all 300 plates every hour. So it's every hour we take an image of a plate. And the real beauty of that is that it gives you a time-lapse video that you can use at, the, uh, at any point in time through the incubation of the plate. And I'll just try and get an example of that on the screen here for you. And just hoping technology works. If I get to that, about there on the video, we'll start to see what it looks like. The plate, when it comes up in just one second, is at the end of the incubation. Right. So that's, if, if you consider that could have been a plate with overgrowth yep. or confluent growth, it could be very difficult for an operator to count this. So the instrument, when it's counting the colonies, it will have determined there were however many there are on this plate. Yep. I think it's about 50 that are on this plate. Uh, but you can't see them necessarily at this stage. But you can use the video to go back in time. And so this one is going to go backwards, and it's now going to show you the orig origins of each of those colonies that you can see right, on the plate there. And now, if, especially if you've got a mold growth uh, on the plate that have been confluent, it could have overgrown, if you weren't using the instrument to read that plate, it may well have been that you just said there's too numerous to count, or you couldn't give it a true count. Here, not only has the instrument counted the number of colonies, as a microbiologist, you can go back into the images and see exactly the origin of each of the colonies on the plate. And that's dead easy to do on the instrument. You do it here and you have access to every single plate on the instrument at any moment in time. And I think you were saying off camera as well that actually the instrument will actually highlight the individual trays as well. I would, when you get to the end of the incubation, uh, the, the instrument, it knows how long to incubate the plates for. So say you've got a three day incubation as an example. When you have plates that are finished through the software, you can say to the software, show me all of the plates that are finished that have no growth, for example, or show me all of the plates that are finished that have got a growth of more than 10 CFU. You set the criteria. What will happen when you've done that on the screen here, and when you then open the door, yep is down the sides here, next to each of the numbers, you yep. can see them going 30 down to one at the bottom, there's a little light. Yep. That light will come on to tell you which plates you've selected in the software. So if you want to take those out, you can just take them out of the instrument and do your further work on those plates. Right. Okay. And the really, what's really nice about this as well is if you are, if you are so minded, if you're on the beach, and you're wondering what's going on inside a 3P station, you can just log on with your iPad or other device, others that are available. You can just log on through your company's VPN and you can gain access to any of these images anywhere in the world, so long as you are, have access to your own company's So it network. truly is helping with remote work. It working. really, really does help. Fantastic. Okay. That's brilliant. Well, thank you for giving me such a thorough overview of the system. Um, so viewers, if you'd like to know more, Come and talk to Chris and the team here at the Bible Mario booth at 2327, if I remember correctly. Uh, I think it is. Yeah. We're here. We're right in the middle. So come in and you'll it. see us. Yeah. Uh, but if you can't come here, then obviously you can go to the website, go to the LinkedIn page and contact Chris directly on LinkedIn as well. You're you've more than welcome questions. to. Please and do. also you can leave questions below the video in the comments as well, which I'm sure Chris will be only too happy to answer. We'll take so, them if they come in, of course. Fantastic. Well, Chris, thank you very much for giving me that overview. Good luck with the launch. I hope thank it goes you very really much, well. And good luck with the rest of the show. So viewers, if you'd like to know more, you're here at PharmaLab this week. Come and talk to Chris and the rest of the team at Buy Mario and then about the 3P station and the whole solutions they've got across the board and if you can't do that obviously visit their website's the LinkedIn page so once again Chris thank you very much and viewers thank you for watching until next time stay well and stay safe bye bye goodbye